Hello, it's Maisie Moo again. Um, I have some crafty bits to show you and a couple of non-crafty bits, but we all know that I love some Sums, so I'm going to show you anyway. Let's just like the note. I'll have that down here. Um, I shall start with my Sum Sums, I think. So, basically, Sainsbury's had a toy sale on. And I bought seven of the blind bags. Four of them are already up on my shelf. But these are the ones I didn't unpack. So I will just take them out of their packaging. Just because it's easier for you guys to see. And yeah. I love Simpsons. So I got a Snow White. With her evil apple. And that is just so stinking cute, especially for this time of year. So she sits on the apple like so. I'm just going to chuck her up there. Uh, I got a thumper. Yeah. I think I need, I should have probably used bigger scissors rather than my tiny paper snap. But, oh well. Um, so thumper has a little grass verge. To sit on uh, that way with a little pink flower, and there is Thumper. You can also get Thumper in the um, fuzzy sumsums. I was looking at the leaflet the other day, and the last one I got to complete my set of seven. Oops, on is one of my favourite Muppets, Miss Piggy. She is like my ultimate favourite and she has a little, little, um, like, mirror thing. And there she is, the wonderful woman. Or peg. Peg woman. Woman peg. But yeah, so they're my other three. Um, so, yeah, let, let's go on with the actual crafty stuff now. Um, it's come from numerous different places, like normal. Um, because I collect it up, as you guys know, before filming the video, unless I've ordered from an online place and then I just film that one place. But from, you know, local stores or um, other places like that, I'll chuck it all in together. Um, so firstly, we'll do Sainsbury's, which is tying in with the Sumsums. I picked up these napkins to use as decoupage paper because they're roughly the same thickness and it's just these butterfly ones um, and when you peel because they're three ply when you peel the backing off you then get a second backing sort of thing and it has like just a real pale version of this which is quite cool and I learned I did something quite cool with these the other day and I just laid it flat on my craft mat, this like pattern side down, painted over it, dried it, and I think it looks pretty cool. So I'm gonna try that with a couple more, I think, like bigger than like that. Um so yeah, and they were a pound. I also picked up this Unicorns Ate My Homework notebook. Um and it is a hard cover notebook I can't get the plastic sleeve off but the unicorns ate my homework sleeve is on the plastic bit so when I've done with the glittery blue notebook I can swap it over which is quite cool because I'm pretty sure it is just a standard A5 um, and yeah this was 120 in their big sale that I know a lot of you guys got quite a good like haulage out of I got this and some more panda washies but no point in me showing you those because I've showed you twice. Um, so yeah, I got those. Oh, I did pick up some more panda stickers as well in Sainsbury's, but again, you've seen those, so there's no point in me putting it in this video. Um, I then went to my aunt's shop um, this week and I picked up a couple of ornaments and some paints. I think that's everything I got from there. Um, the ornaments have 
lost their pearl beads they were only held on with hot glue and you can see here some of the fabric starting to fray off but that's okay it doesn't matter um because i want to redecorate all of this bit anyway um but they are wooden they cost me 50p so but i'm going to alter them for my mum because my mum loves um like heart plaques and anything like that and i will be reattaching the pearls so i picked those up i also picked up this which is super glittery and the fallout is amazing so that's why it's still in its bag um but it's just this sort of laced shoe um it's supposed to be a christmas decoration i'm going to cut this off cut the loop off and she can have it just as an ornament if you see what i mean by fallout it's pretty pretty great um but there's bits that have been um, missed so i'm gonna hopefully be able to get all the glitter off probably just by yeah literally just by rubbing at it i can get most of it off um so i'm gonna take all the glitter off and repaint it on the inside um and cover it in silver on these lace bits and possibly just have the back painted um but wet wherever there's lace i'm gonna put glitter um and i've got some bows that i can stick to the front but yeah i thought that'd be quite cute for my mum for christmas she loves her shoes so and that also only cost me 50p um the last thing i picked up from my auntie shop was these cheap paints that are like watercolors they're for kids um i do have another set i'm not sure if i've filmed them before or i have and i've lost footage because that seems to keep happening to me at the moment but it's just these and i heard ashley from the onyx raven co raving about them I gave them a try myself and they are they are pretty good this is just a i did a die cut out of the scissors the leftovers sorry about the squeaking that is my hamster on his wheel he has perfect timing um but yeah that's the uh purple pink and blue swatches from this um and even though these do look very very similar they aren't actually the same let's just take them out of this don't need that anyway um they haven't obviously got very much in but they're super cheap so it doesn't matter um but yeah they are really really good i was surprised on how good they actually were and i will not be using this brush that goes in a paintbrush pot for my nieces and nephews when they come over because they have their own paints too not touching mine um so that's from there i picked up some paper straws from the factory shop um i don't know if you guys have a factory shop where you are i don't know if it's nationwide i'm not sure but these were 75p and i thought i could make some pretty groovy ones with those um i do want to go back and pick up the blue and orange that they have as well orange mainly for halloween but we'll have to see um i then got gifted these um scrabble tiles they are actual wooden ones um, and they do have the little numbers that you cannot see there you go the actual numbers like scrabble tiles do um and yeah i've got a project coming up that i need them for but i need another bag which i've just got off the phone to my brother about actually so i am being gifted another bag but those i then went into the card factory to try and get another set of the books that i've shown in a previous video if it's in a previous video again losing footage pain in the backside um but it's just these three little notebooks this one says thoughts and notes and it's got like uh it's not quite gold and it's not quite silver it's sort of them mixed together i just wish the pattern would go around onto the back as well and it doesn't on any of them that's obviously this one it does because it's plain um this one says notes and this one says very important notes and stuff and they were 99p for three and I think they're perfect for stocking fillers and things like that. 
Um, I'm hoping to get some more. Maybe some Christmas themed ones would be cool. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, next things I picked up were from Lidl's. Um, I picked up two of their craft sets about a week ago, maybe a fortnight, I think. Um, they were on offer for, they were either three ninety nine each or two for £7. So, of course, I took advantage of that offer and went for the two for £7. Um, and I'm, just, I'm trying to reach for it to show you. One was this autumn craft set, which has some glittered papers in. I think there's six of those. Five, six. Five, um, and the the various patterns, um, and as you can see, I quite like Lidl's paper because they don't do all over glitter; they do little tiny glitter dots. So there's those. There's then some, uh, I think there's four, yeah, four big cardstock sheets. Uh, Two of them are cut apart, so that's this one and this one. And this one's like a, I'd say, like a front page kind of thing. And this one is just a mushroom pattern. I believe Vicky Mouse hauled this as well, so if you, uh, I guess she'd give you more. I think she did. I don't know, I don't remember. I have to really watch the video. Um, some corrugated cards, you get two sheets of that one. These this this is i don't have a clue what i'm going to use this for um but it's like colored tracing paper what i might do is just cut it into shapes and give it to my nieces and nephews they'll love playing with that so i think that's a good idea <laughs> and then just some paper colored paper and card that was what was in the first one oops this is why I don't like that star. It just literally slips around everywhere. It's awful. Um, then the next one was a paper pack, which has got these papers in. I do have this twice, so I will just do a quick flip or try to. I've never done that before. Um, so there's that one, that one, this one. Ah, oh, how cute is that one? I do like that one a lot. Some swallows. Reminds me of door handles. A chevron pattern that I don't like because it does have odd blocks of colour. No. If you're going to have it in two, have it in two. Not two of the same colour. That bugs me. Um, and this was literally just um, like a card pack. But they did call it a paper pack. So that's all of those. I also picked one of these up today for £2.80 because it was on the 30% off. So I'm kind of happy with that. Um, and then I picked up two seasonal things. Well, a few seasonal things. Um, the first one was a giant wall sticker. This was in the corner, and I'm going to repurpose it. The glare on that is awful. There we go. Um, and it's just the bit in the middle that we have. I think this is a display suggestion of sticking it on a mirror. But it's on my kitchen wall, and I don't think it's going to be coming down. Um, my partner absolutely loves it. So, But I thought I could use this in my planner next week, because it's still on the sticky paper. I have also kept the... Um, leftovers of the sticker paper that it came on because I'm going to try using some sharpies um, and making maybe a sticker or two. I will let you know how that goes. Um, so that was $1.99 um, and again on the Halloween theme I picked up three packs of their stickers that they have in at the moment for 99 pence each. Um, there is this glow in the dark one um, I love this guy here. I think he's great. Um, and yeah, I've never really had glow-in-the-dark stickers 
Halloween before, so I was like, meh, I'm going to have them. Um, and yeah, it just says luminous stored light is is emitted when it gets dark. So you sort of, I guess it's the whole charge up via a light. Um, and then when it goes dark, they glow. Um, I then picked up this one, which has some cute puffy owl stickers. They're quite shiny with witches hats and pumpkins. And there's some sweeties and just some genuinely really cute owls and stuff. I do really like this one here. Let's see. This guy up the top, he is super, super cute with his little eyes closed. Sorry, I was looking for, I normally have a bit of white card that I use for filming. And it seems to have disappeared, which is a little bit annoying. No, that's a white bit of paper, but that'll do. There we go. There you go, you can see the owls a lot better now. And then on the second page we have the holographic flat stickers, because these are puffy, but they are a hard puffy. Um, and I love this one, he's so cute. Um, and yeah, I like that it's black holographic. Because I don't see that very often. I always see silver. So yeah. And the last set that I picked up. Were these ones. So firstly we have the. Puffy stickers. But they're the empty puffy stickers. Does that make sense? So they're the sticker at the back. And 3D. Like plastic over the top. And I'm going to try. My best. To peel off the backing. Um stick in some sequins and glue the backing back on. That's the aim. Whether I succeed, who knows yet. And that came with some pumpkin and cat stickers with some creepy... Uh, I wanted to say creamed corn and I know that's wrong. Candy corn. Candy corn. Um, so these must be imported because over here in the UK Especially in Cornwall, we certainly don't have candy corn. Um, oh, I like this cat. He's groovy with his spots on. So again, this is the more holographic I'm used to. This is the silver rainbow. But there, I like them. I think they're cool. And yeah, they were again, 99 pence each. And the second... Second? Second seasonal um, thing I got was this craft paper. And it's 30 sheets. Uh, it includes 10 sheets of motif card at 250 GSM, 10 sheets of coloured paper, and 10 sheets of motif transparent paper. Which to me says vellum. And I've had these before, and it is pretty much vellum. Um, and that is 110 GSM. But in most of the Lidl's crepe, Freelando, Cre yeah, yeah, whatever it says. Um, you do get a design sheet for the bits on the front. Um, but the first pattern we have is this mittens, and then that's the card, uh, the card stock. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Then we have the um, I'll flip it over so you can see it on this side. The vellum. In the same pattern and then a light blue paper then we have some red snowflakes not that you can probably see the snowflakes let's see if we can zoom in there we go red snowflakes with vellum red snowflakes and some red paper then we have some candy canes this really annoys me that they put it in upside down like that messes with my brain a little bit um, so, but, yeah, there we go. Not a lot I can do about that. And again, we have a dark green vellum with the candy canes and a dark green bit of paper. Love this one. Again, I'm going to have to zoom in. Whoop. Um, so we have stars with tiny, like, silver stars. And again, transparent, like, clear vellum 
with the stars on and all white paper. Then we have this funky Christmas design. Again, same with the vellum with like a I don't know what colour this is, it's it's not quite orange, it's not quite brown, it's kind of in the middle. We then have a lovely Christmas tartan. Again, same with the vellum and a dark red bit of paper. Oh, so enough of this one as well. So that's Christmas trees and a lighter red. We then have this one, which is like a mottled effect music note, which is beautiful. Um, and again, we have that with the vellum as well. And like, I don't know if that's plain white because I can see sort of spots on it that aren't, but then I don't know if that's, I don't know, it is just plain white paper. Then we have this bauble paper, which again is upside down, which bugs me because the cover is on this way, but the design is upside down. Ugh. And again, the vellum and the tealy bit of paper. Then we have the reindeer with the vellum and the blue. So that one was three forty nine, um, and I'm absolutely in love. I also like that you get these design idea map type jobbies um, and I cannot wait to make the hanging star garland which is this one here. Um, but yeah that's everything I picked up. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will be back soon. Thank you all for watching and if you haven't already please like and subscribe if you haven't. Um, if you have, then thank you. And yeah, I shall see you again soon. Bye!